What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and it's all about Windows 10 S installation. So let's get started. So uh, I tested this installation with a Windows 10 Enterprise version 1803. As you guys can see, it is a virtual machine. It was actually my uh, Office 2019 virtual machine that I used to install Office 2019 for you guys. And uh, I installed it on this machine. Now, the first thing that you need to do is download the installer. I will provide the link at the bottom of the video, at the description, so you guys could go to it, uh, read about it, because there's a couple of requirements that you need and all that good stuff. Uh, click on the download installer, and it's about 5.5 megabytes. So you're going to click on it, and once you click on it, this nice little install Windows 10S wizard pops up. Uh, Click next and it's going to check your CPU, memory and disk space. Once you get all green check marks, that means you are able to continue and install Windows 10 S on your machine. Click next and it's going to start. Now this didn't work out for me at first. I needed to redo it again. It kind of gave me some crazy error. It said it couldn't be installed, but I'm saying to myself, I got all green check marks. Why didn't it work? So I reran the wizard again and it started working with no problem. You are able to minimize the wizard down while you're working, but eventually it's going to start going up the numbers, 7% and all that good stuff. Uh, you know it's time to install the operating system is when you get this. Now keep personal files and apps and keep personal files only were grayed out. I did not have those options at all. And the only option that I had was nothing. Everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. So I was like, what? So if you are testing this out within a production machine, make sure you got a good backup because it's going to wipe it clean. Done. All right. Uh, I had to choose nothing. Click next. And it's going to give you a nice warning. Do you want to continue using this selection? Yeah. This is the only selection you guys gave me. So click yes. It's going to start checking for updates. And eventually you're going to get this. It's going to say that your PC needs to restart to complete the installation. Uh, you got 30 minutes. I don't know what you could do in 30 minutes. I'm, I'm assuming to back up, grab any files that you want. Because again, it's going to completely wipe your machine clean and install Windows 10 S mode, right? I clicked on restart. And it says, uh, you're about to be signed out. Cool. So I clicked on close. Eventually, you're going to get this. It's going to restart. I would say give it about a minute or two. And you're going to get this. It's going to load up the windows. And you're going to get this. Beautiful. Installing the windows. 0%. Do not turn it off. It's going to take a while. I think the process took between 20 to 30 minutes. And once everything was done, you get the nice little um, welcome stuff. So... Select your region, select your keyboard layouts. If you have a second keyboard layout, select that. If not, you're able to skip it and it's going to process the network. Uh, you have two options. You can either set up a personal use or set up an organization. If you set up a personal use, that means you have to have a Microsoft Outlook account or Hotmail or whatever to log into the machine to continue. Uh, if you're smart, you can set up as an organization, but you don't need to add it into a domain. You're able to create a local account. That's the trick here. So I did set up for an organization, and it wants me to sign in to Microsoft. But in the lower left-hand side, it says offline account. So click on that, and then enter a name and also a password. Once you enter that information, it's going to say just a moment. And uh, this is up to you. I disable this, so I hit no. And I turn all the privacy settings off for this particular virtual machine and I accept and just a moment and eventually you're inside the desktop. Uh, once you're inside the desktop, I do a full screen because it's a virtual machine, kind of small. So I changed the resolution to a 1080p. I clicked on start. I did a WinVER and it's version 1709. So I'm scratching myself like, what? 1709? Windows 10 S? Hmm. So what I did was I went inside settings and about and right here in the Windows specifications, the edition is Windows 10 S version 1709. I clicked on start. It doesn't really look 
like a special operating system, but when I started checking Windows updates, it looks like version 18.03 was going to be pushed down to it really fast. Uh, the only thing that I noticed with Windows 10 S is extremely fast, really smooth. I really have to play around with it to see how well it works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of installation overview of Windows 10 S. I will provide all the links at the bottom of the video at the description so you guys could uh, start using it or start testing it out. Again, please don't test this out within a production machine because there's a good chance you're not going to get those options to keep your apps and settings and files and the only option that you have is nothing is going to completely wipe it clean and remove everything and install the operating system. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.